guided in this by Leon Cass, whom I consider one of the most evil people around. Me too. Uh, is that aging is not a disease. Therefore, artificial drugs and clinical trials in that area are absolutely prohibited. Yeah, I mean, I agree with you, and, and uh, that's absolutely the case. Um, the FDA won't allow for pharmaceuticals that actually uh, 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 promote life extension or, or fight, quote, aging uh, because of everything you said, because of Leon Cass and the Biotech Commission that was uh, deployed in the 2000s under Bush. Uh, they document where they explain why they're generally against uh, anti-aging uh, medication or anti-aging treatment is one of the most evil documents ever written. Uh, and um, but yes, this is this is the world we live in. So what they have to do is uh, they have to do uh, natural quote supplements. Uh, they can't create. Uh, it's very difficult to create formulas that gain them very rigorous IP. As a consequence, the upside for profit is limited. And as a consequence, there's a lot fewer clinical trials. Uh, so, so not only uh, do we, don't we get the so-called artificial, uh, but we also let, get a lot less research, a lot less um, uh, you know, clinical trials. So we know a lot less about these compounds and we know a lot less about their efficacy and to a large extent our doctors, as good as they might be, um, a lot of it is guesswork because a lot they don't really know uh, with regard to aging, uh, and and it's a difficult topic anyway because it's hard to do clinical trials for aging. Um, but uh, but the, and there's a lot of conflicting information. But but yeah, my my approach is uh, take the things that are most that seem the most likely, um, take them one at a time. Now I've learned so that I know which one I'm allergic to and which one I'm not, which one I tolerate, and which one I'm not, and keep playing around with them until I find a combination that's okay. And then, um, you know, I, I, I won't find, I will never know if they actually extended my life or didn't. Um, okay. Because who knows I, how, how long I'd live without them and how long I'd live with them. So that's your private hat, but you're also yep. the chairman of the Ayn Rand Institute. <laughs> Why isn't this a major political issue for the Ayn Rand Institute? I consider it at least as important as abortion. And I've seen a lot of articles and videos on abortion and so far not a single one on uh, freedom to do the clinical work with life extension and modify the molecules, yeah. make them more acceptable and so on. I mean, I think, I think in terms of the Institute, it, it's, it's a question of um, choosing the topics to be discussed. There are a lot, we don't do a lot of political topics. One of the reasons abortion is, is a big deal is because for Ayn Rand, it was a big deal. Um, and, uh, you know, there, there, there's a, there are big cases. I think if Leon Cass was writing today and wrote that piece and published that piece today, uh, I think the Ayn Rand Institute would come out with a rebuttal on that and 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 go after. Certainly, I would on the show. I would take that that piece, uh, uh, take it to pieces. I think I think the institute picks and chooses where it can make a, a a big difference. But I take your point. I mean, this is a good issue. It might be an issue that could attract a lot of people, uh, Silicon Valley types, kind of the billionaires who invest a lot in um, in life extension, um, but. Um, you know, there's no, there's no, uh, re there's no uh, specific reason, and part of it is the interest of the intellectuals at the institute. You know, they write on what they're interested in. Yes, but the Leon Cass Memorandum is still in force, and because it is still in nobody force, knows about it. So a big part of why you write, many people don't know about it. No, but one of the big reasons why you write is to gain attention, not to convince. So uh, you're not going to gain attention by digging up a document for 2005. Nobody cares. But you are going to get attention about a Supreme Court decision tomorrow. If the Supreme Court took up a case relating to, to, to this issue, we would definitely comment on it. You'd get a lot of attention on it. So the, the, the way you pick topics is not because you think that on any issue you're going to convince anybody. Indeed, I don't know if we convince anybody on abortion, but 
you pick a topic with the idea of, uh, you, you know, in a sense, getting press, getting attention and getting people because of that to read Ayn Rand. And if we thought we could get that with this issue, and I think maybe we can, I think given, given a generation now of, um, you know, billionaires investing in this, maybe this would be uh, something that they would uh, pay attention to. I'll, I'll, I'll bring it up. It's a good point. That was my first. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.